My name is Asim Rastogi. I'm an assistant women's basketball coach here at Brandeis University. Uh, and along with many other hats that I wear, started a company this summer called Essential Coaching. And one of the services we offer through Essential Coaching is diversity, equity, inclusion, and anti-racism group work sessions. So we have a four session cohort model. Uh, the four sessions, just briefly, are about culture. So individualizing culture and understanding who's in the room, even if we don't know who's in the room. The second one is on microaggressions and hurt words and preparing for excuses, so how to actually have those tough conversations. Uh, the third one is on privilege and systems and power, uh, overt, covert, white supremacy, things like that, and being able to recognize it and dismantle it. And then the fourth one is about creating equity in any sort of group of people, particularly here with our Brandeis student athletes and our staff. I think our staff and our student athletes have been doing a really, really good job in terms of getting uncomfortable and really having some salient conversations. You know, I think opening up dialogue um, regarding race and diversity is, you know, in the times that we're in, it, it couldn't, you know, it couldn't be more valuable. I, I appreciated that we were working on the same thing as the students. I think that was, that was a real change maker in terms of being able to have these conversations, but also some of the phrasing that, that we've learned that you know, even as an adult, I, I never really thought of. I think because we do have a lot of girls of color on my team, I think it definitely will make us feel less isolated and make us feel like our community really cares about us and cares enough to learn. Our trainings were helpful because it helped us understand each other and each other's backgrounds better and be a more cohesive unit on and off the court. And there's really no finish line to this. It is an ongoing process and hopefully in 40 years or less, I won't have to do this anymore, but ultimately it is an ongoing process that requires individual and group commitment to it. So that's really where we're headed right now is trying to create that commitment.